Well, did you want to join another cell phone um, company? Like, no, no, no. I was retired from commercials. I was producing independent films and I was writing screenplays and I was doing other things. And, and I really had considered myself retired from commercials. Um, and I was like, you know, that's a great run. Don't get greedy. <laughs> and, um, uh, and then they came to my agent with an idea. I mean, Sprint mm. had this idea. And, you know, we had to sort of hammer out what it would be because it was really, I mean, obviously I didn't own the character that I had played and I didn't have any interest in reprising that character anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so really what, what were we left with? It was either going to be some kind of, some version of an endorsement that referenced, you know, what, uh, yeah, I was an actor who played this character, but I tried this and it's actually kind of great and it doesn't cost as much. So why, why wouldn't you? And that, and I kind of liked that approach. I thought it was good. And I was like, well, let's, you know, for clarity's sake, let's make sure that I always say my name at the beginning so people know that it's mm -hmm. me and not the character. And, right. You know, um, and I kind of, I don't know. I just thought, it, I thought there was something a little bit punk rock about it. I kind of loved the idea. <laughs> Those and people of Verizon like, must be so pissed they let you go because the Sprint campaign turned out to be such a success. Yeah, they shouldn't have let me go. <laughs> let me go. Nobody should let me go. Um, yeah, 